Okay guys, so this is my room tour. It's been requested a few times. I will do my skulls in a separate video. But we're going to start, I'm just going to show you every angle of the room. So I've got built-in wardrobes. This is one arm. Then this is messy side is Ben's. Used to have a bedside unit there. It got moved and he's just piled his crap there. And... I'll explain the situation of how everything changed. So we have a massive hallway, like landing guys, and the sofa used to be on there, but we brought that in here just so we could put the bedding box on the, we've just got too much stuff basically guys. So let's start off with the door is coming into the bedroom. So behind my door, I have put this um, necklace holder, jewelry holder, as you can see, it's pretty goddamn crammed with jewellery. Um, obviously, a lot of this is new. A lot of it is old. But let's just start here. A lot of this is like my old jewellery and bangles and stuff like that. So if you want to see a video on all my necklaces, earrings, anything like that, let me know. Now, I've put... I'm going to take you over to here. So here's my mirror. So I can actually, like get ready here or I tend to get ready in the um, studio guys so here I'll put on like my night cream take my makeup off and so forth so on here I've got my um, my mirror my light mirror this is number seven let me see let me just change it around yep it's upside down this is my number seven mirror it's magnified on one side I use that at night if I need to see what I'm doing and then here I've got some of my perfumes on display, not all of them. I'll show you where the rest of them is. But this is just some of my perfumes and then some of my accessories, which I'll do in a skull video if you want to see that video. And then here is just like hand creams and lotions, body creams, oils, lip balms in between here. And these are all my face creams, night creams. I also keep out my um, Dove my cleansing pads my jolique spray like i really need to spray that now because i'm boiling and i leave my cleanser out because i do use it i've also got a lavender spray for the pillow and a coaster here and my lamp is a skull lamp as you can see here which i absolutely love so these are drawers that are tall drawers i um i did them the same as my wallpaper on my wall over here and then I just added these crystal baubles too. But as you can see, it's starting to come away. So I do need to re-glue that. Um, and then over on the wall here, I've got my Yoda picture that I got from Athletics Palace. I've got my Dreamcatcher here. And then I've got my Killstar jewellery holder. I tend to put all my bulky kind of stuff on here, like big necklaces, long necklaces. Necklaces that I, I probably don't wear as much as I should. But again, if you want to see a video on all them, let me know. Then it's just my little skeleton. Um, I don't know why I stuck him there. I just thought he fitted in. And then I've got my big skull canvas. There was two of these. I didn't get to get the other one. And even if I did, I had nowhere to put it. So maybe for the best. Then moving along, I'm going to step on the sofa. That's my Gothic prayer plaque. It's one of my favourite Anne Stokes. I used to have the bag. Um, I've got the jammers in it. I used to have the purse in it. I had pictures in it. Another thing I didn't have was the plaque, but I probably will get it one day. And then this is a homemade bat shelf, guys, that me and my father-in-law made. I've got like my chokers on here, my big necklaces from like DMCs and jewelry and jangles there, and then some of my other chokers on here. And if I take you right up, here I've got just some of my smaller skulls and my hear no evil, see no evil, speak no evil batties. And these are my other skulls and that is my bat shelf. I absolutely love this, this little unit. I'd definitely be taking it with me. So that's what's on there, guys. And then moving down, I don't have a lot of stuff on my wall because my husband doesn't like too much stuff on the wall. He's actually whinging that there's too much on the wall at the minute, but... I would love to have put some gothic things above the bed here, some gothic prints. Um, obviously, we're not going to be staying in this house, so the chances are 
I might not bother with that, but if I do, I would probably put some gothic prints above there. And then here is the sofa bed, which we can't pull out, obviously, because I have literally got a foot well to walk to my bed. It's a nightmare. I've got my Killstar cover on it and I've got a quilt underneath it because this is called the magic bed. On a Friday and a Saturday, Zach comes and sleeps in here. He just finds comfort being in mum and dad's room on a weekend. I don't know why. It's just a habit that we've kind of got into, but he's getting too big for it now, so we may have to cancel that. Here I've got my little cushion that says daughter and forever friend. I've also got another cushion, which I can't show you because it's got my address on it, but it's a, a cushion my mum had made for me and Ben. Then I've got my Killstar cushion, which probably everybody's got one of them. This is my little Pingu. I put them in the microwave and... Um, keeps me warm because I have issues in the winter trying to regulate my heat but I'm going through the menopause at the minute so I probably wouldn't use that. I've got my skelly animal here, my monkey. I've got duality here. Don't ask me why Zach's burrs have ended up in my room but they have. I've had to put all my teddies in the cupboard to make room for Zach's. This is my dog that my mum got me recently. I'm obsessed with schnauzers. I've got two different ones. And then that's the Hydra. So that's the couch. It's just from Ikea, this sofa bed, guys. We've had it for about five years. We got it when we had the studio downstairs. But, you know, Ben walked part with it and um, it'll come in handy, I suppose, for something or another. Then the bed is here. It's just a, a white bed we got from Argos. I have a bed guard, if you haven't noticed, because I struggle to turn over at night. I uh, can only sleep on one side of my body. I can't sleep on my left side, which is a bit of a nightmare. I tend to go on my back a lot. But I have um, I have one of these, which needs to go in the wash. It goes in between my knees, guys, to help my posture. Yoda, you've seen before. And I've got this tatty bird pillow that I've had for such a very long time. I sleep with it. Me and Ben uh, used to fight over it because he used to hide it on me and I used to get really irritable because it's... It's my cushion, I need it. <laughs> this is my um, school bedding. Uh, I've got two lots of school beddings. I know we're crazy, we have two quilts in our beds. We're, in, we're cotton sheets underneath as well. Um, and then we have this other massive quilt. It's a king size bed, so I, again, it's all about regulating my heat. We have built in wardrobes all along. Um, I suppose if we didn't have that, it wouldn't make any difference, to be honest with you guys. We'd have to need some wardrobe somewhere. Right, so taking you back over here. So at the top of my unit, I have this metal holder. It's actually a pot skull. I put my, my wireless headphones on there. Then I've got just a few pops that I started collecting. I will finish my collection. I've got some pre-ordered. Um, I would probably have to need a new place for them to go. I've got my two hats the only two hats I own. Um, I'm not going to get in the habit of buying loads of hats. I'm not really a hat person. So I've got one for summer and I've got one that I love. I've got my Jack Skeleton cup. I've got my baby Yoda there and the child there. That's Yoda actually and that's the child. And then I have this black and white skull which I absolutely love and my hat from TK Maxx. And I've got some masks that are at the back of there guys but I can't really get to the back of there taking you down these are just my skull units i've got a light in there which you've seen before i will do a video just on this unit itself um so i've got my skull duggery books no i started reading them and i didn't finish them these are all my skulls again if you want to see a more in-depth video on them just let me know and then in here is oh a mishmash of everything guys so i've got things like perfumes carries on in there body creams moisturizers hair creams bath salts hair colors more toners body washes i've got all my mugs in there as well that were in the cupboard all my mugs of my daughters ornaments and gifts for my grandkids and stuff i keep them all in here so zach doesn't get his hands on them so that's all that's in there guys let me just I've even got this plaque that says, everything is better in your pyjamas. My mother-in-law got me that and she knows me way too well. Moving across, this is the um, coffin unit that 
my father-in-law made for me and I painted it. Absolutely love it. I do want another one making um, at some point. I don't know when. It's not a, a big hurry to do it, but I do want another one to go in the other corner. On here is just small oddities and stuff and bits and pieces. I've got my bottle there. This is my TK Maxx books one that all lights up and stuff and it's changed batteries. Then I've got them pen shop light up schools there. Is it raining? Oh, it is. God. Um, dragons, which were friend mail, which I ended up keeping because I didn't send it. Um, this crystal, which I absolutely love that I got from TJC. When the light hits it, it just bounces across the room. I've also got... Um, my skulls on the top of here and I've also got my gothic hats sat on top of my amethyst um, I need a red one of these um, yeah they're gonna be props and I've also got my gothic hats on that one so I use them as stands then I've got this light that I got last year from um, as the living absolutely love it um, go across here I've got my heart shells that my dad got me I think they were for my birthday um, I've got my little angel that my mum got me some years back. I've got my see no evil, hear no evil skull skeletons here that my husband got me. And then I have the other ones that my husband got me. Some candles that my sister got me and a few little ready-made plants. I kind of like this little unit. I love it, in fact. <laughs> then I've got my wolf canvas. I absolutely love this. If there was another one, I would have to have it and put it on the opposite side and move my light along. I haven't got a lot of wall space, guys, when you think about it. So I've got to make most of what wall space I've got. I got this in a shop in Little Borough, back in my old hometown. She does really nice things. I may feature her shop one of the days. Coming down, my Yankee Candle is being put back up here so it don't get broken. I have these heart holders here. A little skull that I got from a coat box. My beautiful grandmother, which is my dad's mom, that I never, um, well, I got to meet her, but I was too young to remember her. But she's Maltese. You can kind of tell she's got a look of me. And then I've got these drawers that have nothing in it at the minute. This little plaque that Leah got me that says, remember every day that I love you. And then this is me and Leah, a um, little frame that she got me. Absolutely love it. And then here is all my jewellery that I have nowhere to put it. My wedding jewellery and stuff is here as well that I, I try and keep. These are all my earrings in here, here and here. Earrings, this big box here is earrings as well watches i've got another skull here and a bracelet dangling off it and then in this box is all my rings Pfft, yeah a whole different video and then i've got more earrings here in bags skull dish that my brother got me um i kind of just put all my earrings in there my handheld mirror it's getting a bit dark now which was from tk max as you know i shop every year in there for halloween my flowers that I used for my corpse bride last year and another bottle. And then I've just got a coffin box that I painted and it's got my headdresses in there. And that is that, guys. And then these drawers here is Ben's clothing. This is my sock drawer. Ben's clothing again. And then these six drawers are all mine. I've got my underwear and bras in here, jammers leggings t-shirts 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 <laughs> and then wardrobes which i know you're all requesting a wardrobe tour which i will do but i'll just show you now my wardrobe's kind of been organized a little bit better than it was so that's my wardrobe there guys little owl that my friend had made for me another thing that for my kids that i keep on there i keep all my little trinkets like that I've tried not to open this too far. Shoes, shoes, more shoes and bags, guys. I won't open the side because it'll all probably fall out on me. And then in this wardrobe here, obviously, is all my skirts and tops there. And all my jumpers and jeans and stuff there. And all my belts and that there. 
again if you want to see a wardrobe tour i will get it done as soon as a little plaque that i got for my sister and then just down on the floor here is a selection of books that we sit uh, we lie down on the bed and we'll read to Zach. Um, science books, history books, planet Earth, space, the big Earth book, an atlas and space book. As you can tell, Daddy's influencing that on Zach because obviously he was brought up on all these kind of stuff. I think it's nice for him to get this knowledge behind him before he goes to school. And that's Ben's wardrobe, which he's asked me not to use or go in. And then I have this little overhead light that we use if we need to read at night. Very rare that we do. The weather is very, very cold outside, guys, and it's starting to rain. And then that is it, guys. That is my room tour. If you want to see a video on the jewellery, either necklaces or earrings, let me know. If you want to see a video on just my skulls in detail, where I got them from, if I remember, let me know. And obviously, I know you want to see a wardrobe tour. As for the shoes, guys, it's not going to happen anytime this year, but I have got way too many shoes to be taking them all out. But I have done my iron fish. You can find that in the, um, in the eye above here. Go and check it out. And I have done my studio before, so I'll put that in the eye as well, guys, and go and check that out. All right, guys, thank you for watching. Pop your comments on below. Let me know if there's anything you want to see in detail. Um, how I arrange things, my perfumes, my crap. <laughs> While I'm on this bit here, I'll, this is all my, my Elemis creams as well, guys, and my Nukes. And then here's like my Palmers and Santry Spa, Cetaphil. Here's all my hand creams and obviously perfumes. I need the whole set of these. When I go back to Canuck, I will grab another two of these. I do like perfumes, guys, but I don't I don't tend to just put it on willy-nilly. I only put it on if I'm going out somewhere special. I use my cheap perfume for everyday use, but my like my expensive perfumes, I will wait. In here, guys, is all my little pads, brushes, mirror, and then I've got body creams in here. All right, guys, that is it. Take care of yourself. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.